Uh, hey guys, what's up? Ace Gamer for ten here. Um, we'll Bombs come back were to delivered to their oh. base. This meant that an enemy who had to be fought by those means was close at hand. The resistance blew up the squadron's runway. Yellow Four suffered light shrapnel wounds. Though the runway could be fixed, the complete loss of reserve supplies was a heavy blow. Logistics support became infrequent following the Allied operations. I knew this because Yellow Squadron's crew chief belly ached about this all the time to me. I won't complain if I buy the farm while I'm airborne, but I can't stand being taken out while I'm grounded. Now I understand 13's feelings. Reports of the Stonehenge air raid came in. Yellow floor ran up with the others. With no bombs, her plane was light. But her plane was in bad shape. It needed an engine replacement badly. Okay, sorry, I didn't know there was a cutscene, but um, Mission 12, Stonehenge Offensive. We will attack Stonehenge, the lethal weapon that has plagued ISAF for so long. Since it was designed to shoot down asteroids, a few small fighters flying unpredictable high-speed courses should be able to get within range. According to the defectors, its central ECM jamming system disrupts our radar and missile guidance systems. Unless this system is destroyed, our mission will be very difficult to execute. HQ predicts a 40% casualty rate for all deployed aircraft. It'll be a tough mission, but one we can avoid. Now go and reclaim the skies over the mainland. Dismissed. Okay, so, um, yeah, this is it. We're taking out Stonehenge. The super weapon that, uh, pretty much took out most of the, uh, pilots in ISAF. So, um, there's indicated targets, yeah, like that just said. There you get a nice shot of Stonehenge. And yeah, obviously, um, since we're pretty much knocking on Stonehenge's door, it's gonna shoot at us. We should know by now how low you have to go. And if you don't, it's 2,000 feet. But you should know. Um, yeah, so when we get up to Stonehenge, um, might even have started now. But you can't, um, lock on with the target yet until you take out the jammer. Like, you can still shoot missiles, but, um... You can't, uh, lock on. Which pretty much, um... You know, takes... Away the effect of missiles. So the first thing you want to do is take out the jammer, which is right in the center of Stonehenge. And I'm debating whether I should use the machine gun or try to like, you know, um, shoot a missile 3 style. How about this? How about we do an epic suicide dive? It'll work, right? So yeah, it's that thing right in the center. It's gonna be pretty cool. We hit it. Here we go. Um, that's pretty cool. Anyways, now we have to take out the, um, I don't know, seven, maybe? Seven or eight guns of Stonehenge. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <coughs> seven. In case you didn't uh, hear me counting there. <coughs> and um, there's different targets on Stonehenge. Like you can hit the tip of the gun, which will take it out in one or two missiles, but it's really easy to miss. Or you can hit the base of it, which is um, 
obviously a bigger target, but it'll take like four missiles. I think you have to hit like the um, gun, like from when it's facing you, like hit, hit it um, dead on center. Whoa, that was close. <laughs> I almost ran into Stonehenge. Um, yeah, see, I mean it hit, but it didn't um, hit the target, so I think you have to hit it like from the front. Um, hit again. Yeah, I don't know how many missiles it takes, but um, it takes a lot more if you do shoot at the base. Took that gun out though, so that was good. Yeah, five more guns. Um, that took the video, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and um, yeah, be sure to stay tuned for part two. Uh, see you guys later.